I own some of the rarest Pokemon in the world, and I'm not easily impressed. So that's why I asked you to impress me on Twitter with the rarest Pokemon in your entire account. And I'll be rating them on a scale of 1 to 10. 10s, as always, will not be easy. I have a feeling you guys are gonna give me a run for my money this time. Gosh, and we're starting off strong with both the male and female <laughs> shiny Ash Hat Pikachu. Did I say Ash Hat Pikachu? This is the Fragment Hat Pikachu. Okay, I, uh, this guy beat, he wins, he wins. This is a freaking, this is a 10. We'll give the, the first 10 of the video. The reason why this is a 10, this is one of the rarest shiny Pokemon in the entire game. It's shiny was nearly impossible to get. Nobody got it except for a couple of gaming who got to, that's incredible. And we got Tauntaun with a shiny Safari Eevee with that really cool background. The only way to catch this Pokemon is by going to city Safari events and the only ones that have happened uh, have happened like in three places internationally. Hard to get, we'll give it a seven. All the blue sea shallows from the US in 2019. This Pokemon was a glitched Pokemon. It wasn't supposed to spawn here. So having this is a really cool part of like rare glitch Pokemon Go history. Give that an 8.6. All right, we got Billy the Trainer Club, a freaking OG YouTuber of the space, flexing the level 50 shiny Shundo freaking Mewtwo. I saw his video of him getting this. This is unreal. This shouldn't exist. This is another 10 out of 10. I told you guys would give me a run for my money today. This is actually probably the most useful Pokemon in the entire game. And and like definitely the highest damage Pokemon ever. And that is just, it's a, sh it's a Shundo. It's a Shadow Shundo. Uh, what more could you want? O also, you got 100% Cosmog? Dude, you only got three of these from uh, special research ever, right? That's insane. That's a 9.6. Oh, this is sick, and Geekly says this was my number one chase in Pokemon Go. Caught last week, got the Shundo Eevee. Nine. Oh my god. Shadow freaking Hundo Apex. This is the Apex, right? Or this is the Shadow... Is this Apex? I forget. This is a 9 out of 10. This is so sick. This is crazy. Where are you all getting these Pokemon? As the Pokeball turns with this shiny CP36 Fragment Hat Pikachu. Give that a 9. This one's crazy. Wow, and Pugman has an awesome collection here of shiny Pikachu. We've got the 5th Anniversary Flying Pikachu. We've got a shiny Lucky... Uh, which one is this? Okinawa Shirt Pikachu. We've got... Oh boy. Okinawa Balloon Pikachu and the TCG Hat Shiny Pikachu. That's a, that's a sick collection. We'll give that a... 7.9. Purple Phoebus says, no idea to be honest, but I will put this because I love the hat. Listen, this is a great shiny. It's a rare shiny. It's a costume. 6.9 out of 10. 6 9 said, not super rare, but I know how many, uh, not many have this shiny Pika. On flex, 9 out of 10. Yo, my homie John Ray said, made it with this one. Shundo Lucky Rhyperior. 7 out of 10. I love you though. Kanan Games says, caught this shiny Raikou as a random wild spawn during the Johto event. That's freaking sick. 2200 CP, did you power that up? Eight out of 10. Lemur said, my kid said rarest is this shiny shadow of a shop. I gave him some candy. This is great. <laughs> hey, that's awesome. Shout out to you and your kids. 6.9. Dang, 910 said probably this a freaking Shundo. This is the Tyrantrum, right? Wow, that's insane. That is such a cool Shundo to have. 8.6. Pokemon Go Traveler with a Shadow Shiny Sableye. 6.9. Ooh, bolt up one of the rarest Pokemon in the game, a 96 Artivax. This is, in fact, one of the current rarest Pokemon in the game. That's crazy to see at a 96. That's a freaking... 6 out of 10. <laughs> no freaking way. Schaefer said could only get from snapshots during that event, which is true. A 0% IV clone Pikachu. I cannot express how rare this actually is. That's insane. Clone Pikachu, I think, was only ever released once, right? Because there was two times clone Pokemon came back, but I'm pretty sure the Pikachu was only around once. Maybe it was twice, because this is in 2020. Either way, this Pokemon, like, just was never available. Maybe once or twice only could get it from snapshots. And the fact that this person got it at 0% IVs, which is more rare than a hundo, might I add, is absolutely absurd. This is this is a 10 out of 10. This is crazy. Perfect clone Pika if I had to pick one. Oh, okay, and here's the other end of the spectrum. Lucky 100% clone Pikachu, along with a lucky 100% uh, Pikachu Libre, along with a lucky shiny hundo Detective, that's a detective hat Pikachu, right? I gotta stop giving 10s, bro. I said 10s weren't gonna be easy. That's a freaking 10. Man, you guys leveled up. I've done a couple of these videos and there's been some, you know, some cool things out there, but this is the best we've had so far. That's a 10. Yale said, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, got the lucky, all right, all right. We got the Shundo Conklador, 0% IV Mel Metal, and a Shiny Zerua. Oh, that one's so good. Give that a 6.9. Dang, double with a Shadow Hundo Mamoswine. This is, for context, the best Ice-type Pokemon in the entire game. Freaking Shadow Hundo, Shaddy Daddy, 
8 out of 10. Oh, only because he hasn't been re-released in years. A lucky, what is this one? This is the Armored Mewtwo. Lucky Armored Mewtwo. That's crazy. That's cool. 6.9. Shiny Shadow, Lillian Marowak. This is so cool. And I think the only way to get this was during like a, a day-long event or a weekend-long event where you could evolve your Shiny Marowak into, or you can evolve basically Marowak into a Lillian Marowak, which meant if you had a Shadow Shiny Cubone, which was very hard to get, you could evolve it into a Shadow Shiny Marowak, and that was the only way to get this. This is super duper cool. Give that an eight. Oh my God, caught this randomly during GoFest. Dude, what? Yeah, hey, listen, bro. The, you guys are nuts, man. I can't emphasize how great this video has been. This is awesome. Shundo hat, Pikachu hat, Charmander. That's freaking 9.9. .9. Oh my God, Adam with the shiny Snorlax, shiny sleeping Snorlax. I think everybody only got like under 20, was it, encounters with this through special research. And to do that, you had to use, where is it? You had to use this, a Go++ plus plus to track your sleep, which I stopped doing because I could, oh, it's not that I could care less, but like, man, you know? But some people got lucky enough, got the shiny. That's ridiculous. That's a freaking nine. Oh my God. Phileas Fogs. This will take some beating. Shundo Mew. The context with this is that the only way to get a Shundo Mew well, there's only one way to get it, and it's through the one single encounter that you can get with a Shiny Mew through special research. You can't trade this Pokemon, you can't raid for it, all you can do is get one research encounter with it, and this person got the Shundo, and this is one of the most liked comments on this tweet. That's freaking 10, bro. Oh, Dino Waifu, Shundo Sudowoodo, 10 out of 10. Oh my god. First fragment Pikachu registered into the Pokedex. Went lucky from a random trade and was a hundo. I gotta stop getting tense. I have to stop. I have to stop. That's a 9.9. .9. That's crazy. Ooh, a 2019 shiny Pichu with a winter hat. Not easy to get. We'll give that one a 6.9. Okay, TZ here with the flex. We've got a shund, another shundo shadow Mewtwo and a shadow hundo Garchomp, which is one of the best ground type attackers in the entire game, I think, if not the best. This is another 10! Oh, your boy, Vin. This is beautiful. It's a Shundo Rayquaza. It's what Fleece King has been trying to get forever. He finally got it. Give this one an eight. Yo, this is crazy. Fail Strike with a Meloetta, a 100% of the Meloetta. Another Pokemon that you can only get with one field research encounter. Sorry, special research encounter during GoFest. So you had to play GoFest and you had to complete the research and you only got one encounter and you got a Hundo. That's a nine out of 10. Oh, dude, AJ with, look at this, a Halloween 100% costume Gengar and a Hundo sleeping Snorlax, nine out of 10. Oh, B-Man, this is so cool. The Lugia given out after issues at the first ever Pokemon Go Fest that shows costume uh, event section. So basically for context, if you went to the first Pokemon Go Fest event in 2016, sorry, 2017 in Chicago, the event didn't work, it was broken. As an, I'm sorry, as an apology, Pokemon Go gifted every trainer who attended a free Lugia, which was released for the first time ever during that weekend. It's the only legendary Pokemon that shows up if you search costume, which is like really, really cool because it's like the coding in it is really weird. And that's just a super cool piece of Pokemon history. I'm gonna give that an eight. Oh, we have the Shundo Pikachu from GoFest. That is freaking chef's kiss a nine. This was recent beyond shocking as I just 50 maxed a 98 shadow. Oh no, I know the feeling, but I'm always hyped and we'll try to max this out. Shadow, Hundro, Dratini, Hundro. Give that an eight out of 10. Oh my gosh, bro. Electro, my recent perfect female Salinit waiting for the calm day for the event move. For context, this Pokemon can only be hatched from 12 kilometer eggs, which are very expensive and hard to hatch. And the female version is impossible to hatch. If you've ever hatched these eggs, you'll know that. That's an eight out of 10. Ooh, Aquatic with a 0% shiny Dunsparce, 6.9. Mystic Matt with a 0% IV unknown, 6.9. Ooh, Jesse with a shiny Hundo, oh, sorry, shiny 0% of a Shinx. That's a freaking eight. Oh my gosh, Cal Callahan, 0% IV, Nundo, shiny B, unknown. That's crazy, it's more rare than a Shundo unknown. That's a nine. Oh my God, a Team Instinct member here named Pascal with a shiny Shundo shadow. What do you even call this? A Shad Shundo? Shad Shundo Zapdos, freaking 9.9. .9. Oh no way, Brandon here, where first ever Shundo was the Mew. They also got the Mew Shundo and they got a shiny Go Fest Gumi. I feel like I gave the other person a 10. We'll have to give this a 10 too. Wait, this is sick. We got a 100% of a Smeargle and a 0% of a Smeargle from uh, Twitch Odd, odd, AUD, GG's on that, 6.9, that's dope. Yo, Jay, we got a 0% IV, wow, this is crazy, you can only get this Pokemon at City Safari events. We got a 0% IV, well, that's a golden go, that's crazy, that's crazy. We got a Shundo, Cresselia, lovely, and a 100% IV Cowboy at Snorlax. 
That's a nine out of 10 collection. Wait, this is cool. Got my OG account back and have eggs from when I first started that I'll never hatch. Look, these are eggs from, uh, yeah, these are eggs from 2016. This is so sick. It's cool to just even have this. It's like a piece of Pokemon history. That's very cool. We'll rate that a Nate. Brent with the only two shiny Nundos. Gr granted, these two Shinos were caught during the community day. Still great to have, still insane to have. We got a Nundo Walrein and a Nundo chest pin. Nine out of 10. Wait, Sandals, my first ever caught shiny was a Shundo Magikarp from the wild. 2017, this is a 2017 Gyarados here, Shundo. And as you can see, when you search shiny, it's their most, like their oldest shiny. That's insane. That's insane. Nine out of 10. Oh, we got 100% of a Shaman right here. Obviously this is like only from special research. So give that an eight. Wow, 0% Komala, 0% Hat Slowpoke, and a 0% Hat Pikachu. Zeros are more rare than hundos, nine out of 10. Yo, Wen right here, check this out. With the first ever Mewtwo at Yokohama Station, saw you in trainer tips in the stand on that day while the rest of us was on the field. That's so cool. This Pokemon was released, Mewtwo was released for the first time ever in Yokohama, Japan in like a cool baseball stadium. Um, I was there for that. This is a really, really sick piece of Pokemon history. That's a freaking nine for the history. Oh my God, it either be my first Zelf encounter being a Shundo or a wild critical catch not to. That's insane, a Shundo is Elf. These are really, really rare legendaries and really rare shiny legendaries. They just like kind of came out and sort of sometimes came back. They came back during 2023. Also, Shundo Knight Natu, by the way. That's insane, freaking eight out of 10. Oh, a shiny Nundo costume Stantler. This was during, okay, so this was during 2021. This Pokemon doesn't, I don't think it really comes to the wild anymore. Like in the Pokemon Go holiday event this year, it's only in the raids. So to get this Nundo shiny, that's like, I don't know if you could even do that anymore. That's freaking awesome. That's a 9.8. That was a generous 9.8, but I'm sticking with it. Oh my gosh, one of the first things I caught after coming back to Pokemon Go, a 100% IV Zerud. Know that this came out only once in Pokemon Go during special research. It never came back. It's one of the rarest Pokemon in the game, and it happens to be one of the best grass type Pokemon in the game. But nobody has it, or nobody has enough candy to max it out. But this person got it to level 40 at least, and it's a hundo, 9.8. Also check this out from Tat. We got a 100% of a Hoopa from the Elite Raids it was, was it? Back when those were a thing. That's freaking sick. Seven. We'll give it an eight. And those were some of the best Pokemon in the entire Pokemon Go community. That was crazy. Thank you for everyone who submitted Pokemon. Make sure to follow me for the next opportunity for a video like this. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. That was, that was insane.